Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at how to take your GarageBand projects and make visualizations using iTunes. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to get your song from GarageBand into iTunes and how to use the visualizer. So first, you want to have your song and you go up to share, song to iTunes, name your song however you want. We'll be using the high quality and you want to click this button here because then it will only take what you have here so it's the perfect length and you go ahead and click share and it'll bring it up into iTunes and then once you have it in iTunes you can go to view down to visualizer and then you can click one of these two I will click the first one and then you can push command T and it'll bring up the screen from here you can push the question mark and that'll bring up your different options. With these options you can change the mode with M. So that'll just change how it looks without playing anything. And once I push play, you can see how each time I push M it changes how they look. For example, this one compared to the rest. Or these. If you push N, gets rid of the smoke in the background which can be added for cool effect or if you don't want it to just not have it. If you want to just change the colors you push P. P will change how the colors look, how they react with one another and they can keep cycling through. I just displays your song info. C if you push C, it'll just cycle through everything automatically. Don't have to do anything. X freezes the mode, so nothing changes except you move the camera moving around that focus. L will lock the camera so it doesn't move. F will just toggle up your frame rate. So now, if we go back up to view, visualizer, and then we go to the classic and command T again. It'll bring up a whole new thing. If we push question mark again, it'll bring up similar toggles. F, frame rate, I, your song, D resets all the settings you have to default, and L will always display track info. And if we push question mark twice, there are even more help. So you can do M to change the mode, which will just change how it looks. C will pop up in the top right hand corner of what you have. And in R, it will change everything in a, its own random way. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you guys next time.